Welcome to the Aladino Show. Today, from the Hamptons International Film Festival 2016. You know, I look at these photos and I have to ask myself, what exactly does this have to do with fashion? The shots have struck a chord with many around the world. I thought she'd take it both too far. I said, if you keep going in this direction, uh, I, I might have to fire you. No, I just want to thank, um, you know, this special festival and this audience that last night was amazing because, you know, an impartial audience, an audience that often doesn't know anything about your film or the person who's about, uh, you know, could walk out. And, you know, everyone stayed until the very end, um, cheered, and it was, uh, it was a great moment. How excited are you here today at the Hamptons International Film Festival? Well, it's exciting because it's our um, an U.S. premiere. Now, it must be so good, so... Uh, um, so refreshing, so powerful inside of you, having been able to do something for your mom. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, I, I truly did something for the both of us, you know, because it's a gift I gave her in, on one hand um, by showing her my love and my appreciation and, you know, uh, yeah, my love more than anything. But for me also, you know, getting to know her and having this film that maybe in 10, 20, 30 years I'll be able to watch and where I kind of somehow captured her. It's something that I'm very privileged because not many people get to do something like this and sometimes, and that happened with my father when he died, you know, you don't know often your parents. You think they're your parents, but they're actually people, you know, who make mistakes, who love, who hate, who... So um, it's for the both of us, really. What inspires you to do the, the film on your mom? What, what, what inspired? Well, it started when my father was dying and I realized I didn't know him. So I turned to my mother and I said, you know, I would love to do something with you so that I can ask you the questions I never asked him. And I would probably have never asked her either if he didn't die, you know. I don't, wanna, I don't want you to go one day and me not having captured or asked you certain things um, about love, about work, about life in general, you know. So that's kind of where the film started and took six years. Però mi domando soltanto come un'istituzione come Vogue gliel'abbia permesso. I think anyone in any medium who actually does something that is truly their own transcends the box. And how, how is the relationship with you and your mother since you were a kid? We were very close. Um, when I was small, you know, when I was a little boy, and then she started uh, working so much. So I didn't see her for a big part of my life as, as much. I didn't experience her. I don't remember going um, to lunch with her or, you know, normal things. Yeah. I know she was always there, but um, it was a, it was a, not a difficult relationship, but it was like all of parents' relationships, and you know, it's love and hate, you know? Like, you resent them because they're not there enough, but then you love them because, you know, they're there. It's always been, and now it's just, you know, this film, I think, brought us to the point where I'm a man and, you know, she's getting old, and, uh, and now we're just, like, cool, you know? There's nothing, nothing really... Um, I love, actually, I would I, I will say it with the title of the documentary that Anderson Cooper did on his mother, because this year seems to be the a good year for documentaries about their mother, you know, which is called um, Nothing Left Unsaid, right? I didn't, I don't have anything left to, to tell her, and I don't think she has anything left to tell me. And uh, how, do you, how do you pronounce the name of the movie, Franca or Francia? Franca, Franca. Chaos and Creation is the, let's say, the subtitle. Okay, so it took six years, you said. Uh, walk us a little bit, uh, how was the production, or, you know, like everything involved. I know it's, it's, you will need the whole day to talk about it, but like a, a, a short... You know, I guess every first film is very difficult. Every film that you make without having made a first one before, uh, one before, you don't know what to expect, right? 
So we had every possible problem, from financial problems to, you know, uh, logistic problems to her, because she didn't like the film in the beginning. We went through many different cuts of the film, and I wanted her to be happy with the film. I mean, it's a film about her, you know. Um, I'm not a stalker, I'm not doing a political or a social documentary, I'm not, you know, uh, I just am doing, I'm, I'm writing a love letter, so I want to make sure this love letter is well received. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been tough, it's been very, very difficult. And the last two years I had the luck of having great producers um, coming on and, you know, kind of tightening all the loose hands. Uh, Amy Berg um, did an amazing work, she's, she's a, a very accomplished documentary filmmaker and did, you know, seven, eight movies by now. Uh, and then I met uh, Steph, who's here today at the Hamptons with me, Steph Chire, who really pulled the movie together because there's a moment where a movies can just all fall into pieces right and she didn't let it happen so uh, what, what makes her believe on your movie you know it's i think she felt something when she saw it you know i mean definitely she didn't this do this movie for the money. <laughs> i think she's a very inspiring woman um and i believe in francesco as a director um, and it was something that I really wanted to make. I started off in photography, and I've worked in film for 15 years, so it was a great way for me to do both at the same time. Les femmes comme elle ont des destins, des destins longs, et avec parfois des, des, des retournements inattendus. Anche se la traccia più bella la lasci in effetti con i figli, mentre se tu la lasci indipendentemente da quella che è la tua famiglia, mm, crei una storia. So I think. I think the, the great thing about filmmaking or and art in general is, you know, sometimes you just stumble across across a story that speaks to you. And and I worked with uh, many years ago. I was on set with Roman Polanski on Oliver Twist, right? Which was not his biggest film, but it was still a Roman Polanski film. And I spent time on him with him on set, and you know, and I said, you know, Roman, I'd love to make movies one day, and you know, and he said. I only give you one advice, and it's the best advice anyone ever gave me, is if you make a movie, make sure you have a reason to make a movie. And I think, you know, this movie had lots of reasons, but uh, that's, that's how I think I'm going to approach filmmaking moving on. You know, I, I really want to make films about things that I care about, um, that mean to me a lot, and that speak to me. And then if they do speak to me, then I'll probably be able to talk to, to speak to people after as a consequence.